Just to be a program. I'm Adam, you know me at the beer head. Uh, so, uh, three for this last week, uh, I got a message, uh, a nice email from, uh, Cindy at, um, Tato Michael Bradley, which is another word for group, Michael Bowie. Uh, what if it's in, it's in Tato, uh, Tato Man, Ontario. Now, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing the name correctly, um, so, um, I, it, I guess it's Cornwall, Montreal, somewhere around in that area, so that's what I remember. And they asked if I wanted to crack some of their beers, and I said yes, and you know what, I haven't seen, like, I actually team Franco, so, I've seen them picture, but I actually never thought that uh, some of their out to be all that I go to. And uh, so they're very nice to thank me. They're uh, Kabu IPA, and they thank me with their craft logger, which is very cool. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And of course, it's uh, Maple Rye Ale. So it's a very nice looking, I love the wax top on there as well. But, so, um, Again, I really like the label actually, the, of the caboose one right here, the caboose with the, uh, the green tr tr uh, train here, and with the box of hop on your arm, and the uh, armorella hop on there, pretty cool actually, Jim Coat, pretty cool, like, I don't know if you can able to see it here, but very nice, uh, very nice artwork. And the other thing I, I so going through all these things here, um, so they got like the permanent stuff here, right? So they got the golden well, which is the honey brown ale. I love honey brown ale. That's a little bit honey in it. Um, so they got that, then they got all the lichen. But the one thing I really like what they did here, I'm not sure they able to see it, but you see like this, like, dot, 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 dot. So it says that multi, three out of five, three to Two and a half out of five. Hoppy is one. It's pretty cool. I like that idea. It actually gives that, uh, you know, people who are only in these things and they'll be like, oh, look at that. It's juicy. It's the postables. You know, it's reasonable, right? It's crustable. And, you know, I really like that idea, actually. So, pretty cool. And this is actually, uh, this is digital. So, oh, it's uh, wow, it's only available for one month out of the whole year from me for the May. And then, of course, they also sent me a couple of, uh, nice little things right here. With, um, it's just, uh, it's just worth a great tasting beer to cover your local muckle brewery here. It's gonna tell you here. And then, uh, on the back here, they got the lid of the beer here. Pretty nice. Then, of course, they're having a party, guys! They're having a party! You better check the party on. So, they're having a backyard party. So, this is the last backyard party. So, it happened uh, May 11 at 3 p.m. And it's going, going to continue until 1 a.m. And then they also, again, started there, well, May 12. And that's going to be at the backyard. So, it's going to be barbecue, beer, and mutual in our uh, backyard. So, you can see that. So, oops, yeah, got the rest, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. So, hey, go to that. So, and, uh, uh, Sandy, you got very nice writing too. So, very nice, uh, handwriting there. It's a lot of these days, you know. Anyway, so back to the beer. So, I decided that I'm going to review the Kapoos IPA. And, uh, as you can see here, I've already filled this thing up. Give it a nice big old dent head here. 
the way here the multi is 2 out of 5, uh, tweet is 2 out of 5, hockey is 4 out of 5, and better is 3 out of 5, and juicy is 5 out of 5. So this is American IPA in a 6.4 percent and 69 IBU. So let's get into it. I'm already talking forever on this thing, but so as you can see here, it is a clear. Um, I actually like to call it color. This is almost a draw going color right here. Very clear. It's not what you see in a mirror. Well, actually, you know what? I, I think everybody's been kind of thrown off by all the, you know, hazy IPA, and you're just like, you forget what an actual IPA look like, and you assume that IPA these days to be looking like one too. But however, we're gonna go back and discover what is an IPA these days. Look at that, it's a golden color, and it's got a lovely white dent head. Look at that, it's just like, get boom. Anyway, so for the smell, it is definitely piney, a little bit malty there. Really juicy, curtsy. Got the belly of that. Here. That's very smooth. And that's also very juicy. I didn't even... For an IPA that has 69 IPU, it's really smooth. You got that billion living around, but it's not that overwhelming like one or that. Uh, tropical, piney, piney dine, grapefruity. Very light. Very, uh, very refreshing is what it is. Very, very refreshing. Um, actually, I really enjoyed this IPA. It's actually like a big change, and it's a, it's a good change that, you know what, guys? Don't forget about the IPA before the hay came along. And, you know, every once in a while, I'm going to go get a Mac on, or, you know, Mac Bomb, or you know, bone taker, and then get one of these two as well, like Caboose IPA. And this is actually available in the LCBO for 365, but I'm not sure if it will be over here in the Guelph area, like, but I'm going to have to add uh, the, the LCBO here and see if they can bring it in for, because I definitely would get any again for two. Um, anyway, so that is the Kapu IPA from Tato uh, Brewery, Marco Brewery, or Marco, yeah, I think I pronounced it, I never cut French in school, so obviously you won't win no wine. Um, yeah, so I want to say thank you uh, to Cindy for sending me the, this lovely beer mail, I really appreciate it. Um, Again, I can't wait to cry all the other beer here and then you definitely watch here.